Israel here. Lakeland <coughs> has been to a school of learning this week. Yes, sir. This man been to leadership class to learn how to lead. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that Rooster Man's class was a good class. Rooster Man learned a lot in there. A lot about himself. A lot about other things. It's a good class. I'm going to tell you right now, something Rooster Man did learn is that you better know different people's culture if you go to other countries, regardless if they speak your language or not. Because one word to them means something else to you. I'm going to give you an example of that right here in just a second. Now, the man teaching Rooster Man this week was from the UK. Over in, uh, in England. And he's an English man. And he was sitting there in that class and he looked around and he said, I don't want to hear no whinging going on. Well, Rooster Man says, what do you mean no whinging? Richard Man play the wins all the time. Richard Man be in no class, he ain't gonna wins. Well, come find out. Winsing means no whining. No whining. Richard Man didn't know that. All he heard was winsing and he was gonna win. Now, two, he said something about putting something on the bonnet and in the boot. Well, Richard Man said he wasn't gonna be putting bonnet on his head, and he sure wasn't going to be smelling his boots. Well, you know what? Well, come find out. A bonnet is under the hood of your car. And a boot, a boot is the trunk. Well, we know that. All the owners men here was putting a bonnet on smelling somebody's boots, and Rooster Man was not going to do that. So Rooster Man learned something else. Then, we didn't really take a break. This man looked up and said, anybody want to go smoke a fag? Then you have to go outside. Rich man looked down and he said, well, no, says I. We don't just go smoking people around here just because you can. We got civilized, civilized citizenship over here. We don't just go smoking people. Well, Lord have mercy. Come to find out, a fag over there is a cigarette. All it is, a plain old cigarette. That might take you to trouble if you ain't careful. Yes, sir. Now, last but not least, that English man said something like this. He said, oh, I'll drop my knickers. Rich man said, don't be dropping those Snickers. Those Snickers cost too much money and they're too good to be dropping around there on the floor. Pick up your next Snickers. That English man said, I did not say snickers, I said knickers. Well, come find out, knickers are britches. Good old britches, all they are is britches, pants. Who would have known what a knicker is? Would you, people would have thought that was a snicker candy bar if somebody was a wasted. Well, Rooster Man has learned a great deal this week. In leadership, he has learned about culture. And what you need to know before you go over somewhere else to get yourself in trouble. Rooster Man out.